What's up everybody? This video is going to be a video about practice routines and some routines that pro players use and I use a lot um, to improve my finishing. So you'll hear a lot in darts the phrase scores for show, doubles for dough. Basically what that means is you can hit as many 180s as you want, you can hit as many big scores as you like, but if you can't hit a double you can't win the match. So the importance of hitting a double is huge it's massive and i've always prided myself on being able to check out really quickly if you ever see me playing in a tournament i might not be the best scorer but you give me a shot at a double i'm gonna hit it and i've been using these practice routines for quite a while and they pay off because i have got two trophies and they're both highest finishes so i've hit the highest finish in the league twice one with a 153 and one with a 170 and i credit that ability down to me practicing finishing all the time. So this is three different practice routines that you can do at home or in the pub. You can do it with your friends as well. You don't have to play alone, but you can play alone. And I'm gonna go through them, teach you how to play them, and then show me playing them. So you get an idea of how to do it. Okay, so practice routine number one. It doesn't really have a name. I call it up 10, down one, because that's basically the idea of the game. But what you do is you start at 80, and if you check out 80 in three darts, you only get three darts for this. If you check out 80 in three darts, you go up 10 points to 90. If you miss 80 in three darts, you go down one point to 79. So if you hit it once and got up to 90 and then you miss it, you go down to 89. So if you hit it, you go up 10. If you miss it, you go down one. That's basically the idea of it. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at me playing it and I'll show you a bit more. And hopefully you'll understand how to play this game. Okay, so I want 80 in the first round of this game, so I've gone 20-20 and then double top. So that's 80 completed, so I'm now on the 90. So I have to hit 90 now, and I go single 20, treble 20, double 5. So that's 80 and then 90 completed. So now I'm up to 100. So for 100, treble 20, double 20. Simple as that. I chucked the last start for no reason. I just did. Anyway, 110. So this time I want 110 and I'm going to stick at the 20s. And I have a nice lie for another trouble 20. So I go for another trouble, another trouble 20. Now I want double 15 and I miss it, okay? So now I've missed 110. I have to go down to 109. So now I'm on 109. I've gone treble 20, single 9 and tops. And I've missed it. So I'll now be on 108. And that's basically the premise of this game. It's a good game. It's quite fun to play. And uh, you'll, you'll get it really easy. It's, it's a good game. It's kind of an intermediate-ish game. The higher, you get, the, the higher you get, the harder it gets, basically. So it's a good game if you're good at darts and you're comfortable checking out them sort of scores. If you're struggling to hit one dart out of three at a double, this might not be the game for you yet. But I do have some games coming up that you might enjoy a bit more. So the next game is called 1 to 1. And the premise of it is to check out... 121. Now, like the last game, if you check it out, you go up, and if you miss it, you go down. Um, if you check out 1 to 1 in 9 darts, because you get 9 darts for this, you only go up 1. If you miss it in 9 darts, you only go down 1. So, it's a hard game to climb, but you get a lot of opportunities to score, and you get a lot of opportunities to hit the finishing, because you get 9 darts at 1 to 1. You should be, should really probably be giving yourself uh, 4 to 6 darts at a double every single time. So, you can climb up really quickly and it just makes you think. So because you get nine darts, you can play this with on your own. You can play it with a friend or you can play it with two friends. I wouldn't advise playing it with more than three people. It gets a bit crowded. You get a bit out of rhythm. But I prefer playing this game with two people because every single time you you alternate. If, you, if you're in a bit of a rhythm where you're quite high up and you're needing every, every nine darts, you're needing nine darts every time to finish this game, um, then you get into a bit of a rhythm where the person who starts and finishes is the same. So if you're playing with two people, then what you can do is you just play it and if you if you go for the double on one leg, the next leg, the other person will go for the double, if that makes sense. But one to one let's just watch me play it. Hopefully it will make sense uh, when we get into it. So so we're playing one to one now. I'm going single 20, going for a treble 17, hit a single 17, and gone out and back up to the 20s again. So I've scored a 57, I've left 64, and I've got six darts to check out 64. So I'm going to go down to the 16s for this one, obviously. Uh, a single 16, another 16 or an 8, a single 16 leaves 32, and I've missed the 32. So I've now got three darts left in my hand, to hit 32. If I hit it, I go up one. If I miss it, I go down one. 
but I've hit it first start, so we go up to 1-2-2. Two, two. So now we're on 1-2-2, two, two, and we're going to be going for the 18s for this one. So single 18, another single 18, and I blocked the treble, so I went for a bullseye to leave 36 instead of a treble 18 to leave 32. So I hit the bullseye, I now want double 18. This is for a, this is for four darts, so I've got plenty of time, and I hit it. So it only took me four darts that time. I had five backup darts if I went around and missed it. Anyway, one, two, three, I've gone 19. Gone for treble 18, hit a big fours, leave 100, and then hit a treble 20. So I now want 40 again, like the last go. This is for a four dart leg, or a four darter in this little game. And I've gone inside, and I've gone inside again. And I've hit double 10. So I've done it in six starts. And that is one, two, three completed. We're now on 124. So let's have a look at one, two, four. Treble 20, treble 16, double eight. If you want to be flashy and you want to go for it in three darts, then go for it in three darts. I, that doesn't happen to me very often. And I'm glad I got it on camera. Anyway, one, two, five, 25, 20, 20 leaves me 60. So I've now got six darts to check out 60 to go up another point. And let's see if I can hit it. So the first dart is going to be a big 20. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go for, a travel, for a top, so I've missed it. And the last dart, you can't even see it because I missed it by so far. But I want 40 with my last three darts. So let's see how I get on with this one. I've gone big 5, 3 for double 16. And I've missed it. So I'd now go back down to 1, 2, 4 and have to check out 1, 2, 4 in 9 darts again to have another go. Okay, so the last game I'm going to show you is a variation of Around the Clock. Really simple game Around the Clock. So what you normally do in Around the Clock is you go double 1, double 2, double 3, double 4, all the way to 20 and then the bullseye. So that's Around the Clock. But this is a variation of it. This makes it a little bit more difficult and a little bit more entertaining. So the first variation is going to be... For intermediate dart players, if you're a good dart player but not an amazing dart player, this is the game you want to play. And basically what you do is you have to throw two darts at the 20. If you hit the 20 with both darts, you throw your third dart at the double you want. So what you do is you go 20, 20, double one, 20, 20, double two, 20, 20, double three. So let's watch how I play this game and, uh, and hopefully this will make sense. So... Two darts in the 20, and then one dart at double one. And I know you can't see it, but I promise you that did go in. Um, <coughs> so then we try again, and we want double two now. So two darts at the 20, one dart at the double two. Next up, we want double three. So again, 20, 20, double three. There we go. And then also, if you block the 20, you can swap, but you have to hit the 19, of course. So... I block the 20, single 19, double 4. And that's it, basically. That is the intermediate version of that game. You have to just go around the clock. If you block the, the 20, then fine. Swap to the 19s. As long as you go 20, 19, double, or 20, 20, double. Or if you like the 19s, go 19, 19, double. Do whatever you want. You just have to, you have to be strict with yourself to throw two straight darts before you go for the double. That's the variation of it. But there's also another variation which makes it a little bit more difficult. And a little bit more fun. This is for a much better player. Uh, this would probably take me hours to go around the board doing this. But what you do is it's the same game, but you must hit a treble, a single, and a double. So if you go treble 20, single 20, double 1, then you then you get to double 2. You can If you do go treble, treble, like just go for it. If you hit treble, treble, double, then why not? Just see if you can hit it anyway. Uh, and again, if you want to swap because you blocked it, just go... 20, 19, and then the double. As long as one of them's a treble, you're all good. Okay, so this is me playing this game. Uh, we're going to go treble 20 first start, then a single 20, and then we're going to go for the, for the double one, and we hit double one. So that would be completed on that game. Uh, and then the next go, let's have a look. I'm going to go treble, treble, double two this one, or treble single, double two. So treble 20, single 20, and then double two, and we've hit that, so we pass on to double three. So next one, we got double three, and let's have a look at the double three. Single 20, really low. Nice treble 20 to clear it up, and double three. There we go. And then the last one is if you want to swap, you can swap. So let's have a look at the swap. So I've gone treble 20, and then gone for a 19, and then we've hit double four. But anyway, guys, that is basically it. If you want to take that last game to the next level and go treble, treble, double, then by all means, go for it. That is, like, way out of my league. I'm not even going to attempt to record that because I will never hit it. I might hit one, but I'm not going to record for hours and try and get to four. 
<coughs> but anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Comment and let me know what you thought. And uh, subscribe if you're brand new. We are on the road to like 6,000 subscribers now. So the subs keep going up. Thanks everyone for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.